Hi, and welcome to Ask the Professor. My name is Professor Michael Milligan. I'm a college finance professor and a former hedge fund manager. I am thrilled to have you here today. My goal is to educate you so that you can make money in the financial markets and start building your family's wealth. Before we get started, do not make this a one-way conversation. I encourage you to leave questions and comments. If you like, ask the professor and would like to see more, please follow me. Let's get started. Today, I'm going to delve into what is money. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid grasp, valuable knowledge of what is money. Money serves three primary functions. It's a medium of exchange, a unit of account, and a store of value. Let's take a closer look at all three of these functions. First, money acts as a medium of exchange. Imagine a world without money, where people had to rely on bartering, exchanging of goods or services directly. You and I agree it would be very difficult to do. Money eliminates this difficulty by providing a universally accepted means of payment. It allows individuals to trade goods and services without the need for direct bartering. The second function of money is to serve as a unit of account. Money provides a standard measure for determining the value of goods and services. You guys see a price tag on an item? It represents the monetary value of that item. Money enables us to compare, evaluate different goods and services based on their worth. In other words, we pay more for things that we believe are worth more. Money also acts as a store of value. Have you ever saved money for an expensive item, car, piece of real estate? By saving money, you are storing your purchasing power for the future. Money, this is really important for what we're trying to do here, creating wealth. Money allows us to accumulate wealth and protect against the erosion of value over time. The term erosion over value over time is basically referring to inflation. Lastly, money serves as a standard of deferred payment. This is used in the creation of contracts and long-term debt. Suppose you want to buy a house, but you lack the funds to pay for the house. You can secure a loan and commit to repaying it over an extended period of time. Money plays a crucial role in ensuring that these obligations are met in the future. It allows you to acquire costly items. This is important when creating wealth. In ancient times, money was gold and silver. Later on, currency represented a claim on gold such as a gold certificate. Now we have fiat money. This currency has value by government decree. In other words, this currency is backed by the full faith and credit of the local government. In recent years, though, we've seen the birth of the digital currency. Bitcoin and Ethereum come to mind. They're the two most popular. These cryptocurrencies operate independently of the central authority. In other words, a central bank. They offer a new way to transact and store value in the digital realm. The supply of money is managed by central banks and monetary authorities. Here in the U.S., we have the Federal Reserve, also known as the Fed. They regulate money's creation and circulation in our economy. They use tools such as interest rates and reserve requirements to influence the money supply. Money is a fundamental component of the modern economy. Money facilitates trade, promotes economic growth, and provides a framework for measuring and storing value. In closing, I want you to go back and listen to this video one more time. But this time, Every time you hear the word goods, I want you to substitute it in the word assets. The reason for this is that we use money 
to acquire assets to increase our wealth. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you found this video insightful and engaging. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media. If you have any questions or comments about the topics I covered today, in this video, or other topics, feel free to leave a message in the comment section. I'll do my best to respond. Your feedback is valuable, and it helps me create more relevant and engaging educational content. Thanks once again for watching.